Hey, what's up, guys? It's Navarro at Trader Penny Stocks Club 13. It's Tuesday, November. Oh, excuse me. It's December 1st, 2020. And we continued our, our hot streak, guys, from yesterday, from Monday. We traded pot stocks yesterday. We swang, traded some of uh, the pot stocks as well, along with other um, biotech stocks. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the biggest winners, and then you know trickle uh, our way down for the other swing trades that we had, and then we're gonna get into the day trades that I was able to get in today, and some of the swing trades that we're hold currently holding, and then we're gonna get into what we're gonna be looking at tomorrow. So there's plenty to talk about, and I. Unfortunately, I won't be going into a lot of detail with all of this, but um, what I am going to start doing, I am going to start giving some uh, more information to you guys as far as how and, and what I'm thinking as far as how the trades work, the technical technical uh, strategy behind it, and you know basically how I trade, what I look for, and how I go about executing a trade plan for a day trade or a swing trade so with that in mind guys you know i'm gonna be bringing those kind of videos to you just to help you out in your trading journey so without further ado let's go ahead and get right to it guys just before we get started just go ahead and hit hit that like and subscribe button i really appreciate it guys so first we're gonna go with another pot stock hexo hexo so this one was a swing trade from uh, yesterday to today. If you all remember, we had SNDL on Monday. <clears throat> and today we have Hexo. Hexo, um, another pot stock set up perfectly for a swing trade. You can see how it, made, it put up this big green candle. And it, you know, it broke this uh, patterns high where it or this red breakdown candle the high of this red uh, breakdown candle it closed above it so typically and usually this is what i like to see when i um i am uh positioning myself for for a swing trade now i did get an entry at the one dollar uh, level which is uh, around the previous rejection here and that's what we're looking for the, for the break of one we entered at 99 cents it did fill the gap it came all the way down remember this was a gapper from friday to monday which was yesterday it was a gapper it opened here made a little push over one came back down it closed this gap it closed the gap came back down and it bounced right at 88 cents came back up and then we took profits today early in the morning pre-market for a little bit over 30 percent return my final take was at 125 and uh, you know I, I let it go now this one remember that there's legislature where they're going to decriminalize all the the marijuana use and stuff like that so pot stocks are really something to be looking for uh to be trading what i'm thinking here is that they're gonna come down they're gonna trade a little lower then they're gonna start making their way up so another buying opportunity here um probably tomorrow we'll see if um, i re-enter for another swing trade for another hold and uh, we'll see how it trades tomorrow let's go ahead and look at the at the one day three minute guys which is my favorite time frame so again uh we took an entry at 99 cents right and we rode this wave through the swing trade and i got out early in the morning at 137 final take profits right here actually down here at 125 where you see this uh white line that's where i wanted it to come and bounce and then continue moving up it didn't give me that so um once it broke down came back up gave me another exit opportunity here so let's go in so it broke down early in the morning i wanted it to bounce here at this level it didn't bounce it came back up so it gave me another exit i took the exit here and i just you know i avoided this uh, rejection here and it just continued 
uh, going down. Now I locked in profits. Why am I not holding? Because it, it'll give me another entry, another opportunity. I had profits. I wouldn't want to be holding all of this when I had over 30% profit, guys. So that is why I don't like to to hold on to stuff like this because I can always come back in. And I locked in profits. I used that money to make more money. And you know, Hexo, if it comes up and sets up again then I'll be entering again for another position depending whether what kind of setup it gives me whether it's for a day trade or whether it's for a swing trade you know we'll be watching it closely uh, along with all the other pot stocks and then we'll be making a judgment and you know looking for a good entry looking for good exits and you know just make money off of the the moves that it gives us there's no need to be holding I'm an active swing trader like I've mentioned way uh, time and again so HEXO is still on watch. I will be setting up alerts and um, probably be putting it up on the watch list again. Uh, and especially this week, it's it's going to be on watch maybe the entire month of December. So we'll see, we'll see what it does. There are earnings coming up. You can see that uh, the earnings are coming up uh, on the 16th, but you know it still has about a week or so to get there. So, you know, it might present with another move, some, some type of curling action here, maybe a little flag. We'll see what, what it does, what kind of a setup it starts printing, and then we'll take it from there. So HEXO, swing trade of the day. Next one, ZOM, another great swing trade. So this one I called out yesterday. And uh, so we entered yesterday uh, for the break of 15, and today, we, took profits at a little bit over 20, 20, 20 41, somewhere there for another 37% return guys. So let's go ahead and take you to the one day three minutes. So again, we entered yesterday, uh, I believe right before the break of 15, somewhere here. Okay, so if that was our entry and we took profits here at a little bit over the break of 20 guys, cause we were aiming for 20 and uh, about a little bit over 34 35 percent that's uh that's what we made on this swing trade now on this one i didn't come back in i started looking at other other swing trade opportunities and look at what it's doing right now after hours so this one will definitely be on watch for a day trade tomorrow if it can break through this 21 level that's what i'll be looking for so i'm gonna go ahead and set my alerts right now if it can break through 21 then uh I'll be entering the trade, of course, very cautiously. I already made some good money here. So what I'm gonna do is instead of going in with a full position and uh, it potentially giving some of my return, some of my profits back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter with a half size position just to add on to the profits that ZOM already gave me. And uh, hopefully that's a lesson that some of you can learn as far as trading and not giving back profits because you can't and do tend to get greedy once you you get a good trade, especially 37%. That's that's a, that's no gimme. That's a good, good amount. That's a very, very good return, guys, especially in, in, uh, in the market, you know. So what we look for is a five to 10% return, typically on any trade at pse13.com, uh, at our chat room. But we do aim for those big home run trades when we get 30%, 40%, we've gotten 100% returns, we've gotten 200% returns on swing trades. So it's not out of the ordinary. The thing is that you don't wanna get into the the mindset that every trade is gonna be over 50%, over 100% because it's not always gonna be that way and that's an easy way to get lost in what you're trying to do and accomplish. And that's an easy way to, to uh, not start locking in profits when you have them because you get greedy and you want that 30%, that 40% return every single trade. So you gotta keep, uh, stay humble and know what you're trading and take what the market gives you. So uh, that's a little mental lesson just for everybody out there. Now, um, if it does break 21 guys, there is room for profit taking. We can see the, the next level that is a critical level is that 25 cent level. Okay, so we can see how there was a rejection here and there is a lot of straddling here, you know, there's a lot of noise. So in order just to cut out all that noise, we can go ahead and set that 25 cent levels of profit target. So through 20, from 21 
to 25, that's a good 18% return, you know, if it works well. So that, that's just to add to, to the gains that we got from the swing trade on ZOM. Now let's move on because I do have some more to talk about. Uh, NVIB did not work out quite the way uh, I wanted it, but it's still on watch and I'm gonna tell you why. So I'm gonna try to zoom in here a little more guys. And I'm gonna make this a little better. I don't want to buy it right now. Okay, so let me take this off. All right, so here, here's what happened here. So it did make a move on the swing trade. It gave us a little bit of, a, of an opportunity. We're looking for, for that 70 profit target. It didn't quite get there. I didn't get out um, until later and I came out just with a little bit of profits, nothing big, but what, I'm look, I, what I was looking for was that 70 cent level. So now I'm gonna keep it on watch. I'm gonna see what it does. And if it gives up another opportunity to trade it, then we'll go ahead and trade it. Um, but you know, small profits are small profits. So we took the profits when we had them and that's good. We didn't quite get a, uh, the best out of it. Let's go ahead and go to the one day, three minute and uh, show you what happened. So in the morning I started making this move, we thought we had that breakout. It gives us a false breakout. So uh, once it came below this little level where it kind of uh, had this consolidation period, right here, this is where I exited the trade and you know had a small profit from the swing trade. Remember, I was holding this one from yesterday. We were holding this one from yesterday along with the group. So we entered yesterday uh, at around 60 cents and took profits, uh, where was it, right here about a three percent return guys so i mean a small profit and and it just a little a little bit more to add to the profits from zom hexo and uh then we had csan uh this one really just uh crashed and and flushed and uh this one really didn't quite work out though actually not even a little bit close to what we wanted but i'm gonna um tell you what I'm looking for in this one. It's still not something that we should uh, give up on. Again, I never give up on my trade ideas. It's probably just the timing that was off. And I'm gonna show you why in the daily in a little bit. I exited the trade here at 0.60, uh, right here before the breakdown, somewhere here where the volume started getting lower. It wasn't uh, making any any significant move or anything like that. So I just uh, I just cut it loose and that was it. I started moving on but let's go ahead and look at the daily and see what's going on here so um, what we're trying to trade here is that gap fill level so um, you know once it gets and breaks through this level if uh, it does at any time there's all this room here all this gap this is called a gap fill that it has uh, room to run. That's not mean it's gonna do it, but you know, if it gives us a little push, then we'll take those profits. Now here, it got rejected at this uh, 70 cent level, which is, we're looking for that 70 cent level to be broken specifically because it's a whole number and because we've got that 50 EMA right at that level. So that 50 EMA plus the 70 cent level uh, together combined to make some good resistance for it. Now, notice that the 90 EMA, that's where it found a little bit of support. And sometimes that happens. It, they come and test the level, they come back down, then they retest it and break it. So what we're gonna do, you can see all my alerts set here already. So I'm looking for this to eventually start coming up and my entry this time around will not be until it breaks that 70 cent level so that we can come and test that 80 up to the 90 level where we have the 180 SMA. Now, the one good thing about this is that Everything's starting to curl back up. You can see everything that's, uh, you know, starting to move up. And we also have this little uptrend, right? So that's something that uh, has to be on, on the back of your mind that there is a bit of an uptrend already on CSAN and that's something that we have to look for some continuation on it. So for now, it's Stone Watch. I'll come back in at around 70 cents, looking for a breakthrough 80, which is a breakdown level here. And then, uh, for profit taking around between 80 and 90 cents. So we'll see what happens. Z-S-A-N and uh, day trades today, guys. A 
Y E S eyes. This one was a really good trade. I did not call this one out. This one was called out by Brian. He had a massive trade with ears. I wasn't able to trade ears. I was busy uh, during the time that it was breaking out all morning. And you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, no regrets. I had a 35% plus on H E O X Z O M. And uh, then I just added to all those gains and significantly because when I day trade, I trade with more, with more money. Uh, my position sizing is bigger than a swing trade. So this one really, really um, was, I made more on this day trade that night made with any swing trade from HEXO and ZOM. So let's take you to the one day, three minute to see what we're talking about here. So you can see this little flag pattern here, right? So you got this, this little flag pattern, this little wedge, this triangle which is a really, a really, really nice triangle. So if you were trying to trade this, this is what you would have been doing. Now, I, I, we didn't catch the breakout. If, if I would have been watching this one, uh, you know, I would have taken a, an entry somewhere here at the 130, 130, $1.30 level, right when it broke out and then just rode the momentum, ride the momentum. But uh, I didn't get to do that. And it was called out here where it formed another little flag right there. Little on the another little triangle again. This is the one day three minute, it'll look different on the one day one minute. And I was looking for it to break to uh, Brian took profits around 195, 193. I took profits at 199, and then my final take profits at 215. I did not top tick this one, but from my entry here at 151 for the break of this uh pattern here, 151 to 215, guys, right there. That's a, it's not a 40% return because I scaled out, but it, it was about a 30, 32, 33% return, which was, uh, again, another great, great uh, add to the day as far as profits go. And, and I couldn't be happier with the teamwork. It's just awesome in the, in the chat room. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just really happy about it because this one was not at all my idea. Uh, it was called out and, you know, I took advantage of that call out. We took advantage of the call out and, and made some good money on it. Good return. RWLK was another day trade. This one uh, was, man, I, I wanted to trade this one a little better. Again, this one was another breakout. We entered here, entered at, I believe I entered somewhere here at 150. It, it came back down, it broke down. Actually, no, it was 155 right here. It broke down. Let's, let's look at the one day one minute so right here i believe this candle broke down and i i was able to get in somewhere here uh, actually right here where it broke down it was three candles in a row descending volume yes so this is where i i got in on this candle where i saw that the volume was starting to increase and i got in around uh that 155 level right there and then you know took some profits. I told them I was going to take profits at 170 and I'll show you why in a, on the daily in a little bit. I took some off here and then I was going to take profit as it was approaching two. I thought it had room to two. Then it just started breaking down. I started holding. I was thinking, okay, this can set up for a possible swing trade. And then it just never did that. And I just uh, cut my losses here. It was a small loss, nothing big. Uh, so, you know, it, it was all right. But uh, this is what I was thinking. So if you all remember HEXO, it was a similar pattern. You got that little cup action here. So I was thinking, okay, maybe if it bounces around 150, 145, it starts trickling back up. We're gonna see this candle up here testing this breakdown level, which is similar to the HEXO setup. And then we're, we'll swing trade it, right? And it just never did that. You can see how it just got rejected and got slapped back down and it just never came back up. So. You know, that, that was my thought process as far as holding it. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's a mistake. It happens. And you just uh, roll with the punches and, and pick yourself up and keep on going. So it was not a biggie. Nothing happened. Nothing major. It was basically a, a non-trade, uh, in my opinion, because the losses were insignificant. Uh, because I, I took most of the profits at 170, like I mentioned. So that was um, 
RWK. Okay. Now, what are we swinging, guys? S I N T. This is what I'm holding for a swing. Uh, yeah, I, I got all this uh, profit target levels already. The, my entry uh, idea was for the break of this uh, 220 level, I entered at 213. Currently, it's, it's trading up to around 223, 224. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So, my profit target here is going to be around the 260 area to 280 area if it gives us that opportunity now again i don't know how it's going to open up tomorrow but uh it did start this little uptrend i like the setup and it does make me big moves so i don't know maybe tomorrow it can squeeze all the way up to three for all i know uh but i will start locking in profits around 260 280 and if it comes and test that three level then we'll see uh what it can do uh in any case uh let's go to the one day three minutes so again uh here's where i entered the trade where it started making this little flag pattern. It did come and test that 220 level, came back down, and then after after hours, you know, it's trading around here, around the 223, 224 area, which is good because if tomorrow it opens over 225, I think we're gonna be good to go for for a uh, for a gapper play tomorrow. So uh, S I N T holding on a swing trade. Uh, what else are we holding? A D M P A D M P oversold pattern with great momentum um good relative volume today i'm looking for a gap fill play here so we've got this this gap right here that we want to fill so i'm thinking i'm thinking profits at 60 and then leave some writing for where we have the 50 and the 180 sma around that 65 cent level for a lot of rejection possibly so we'll see if, if it actually gives us that. I mean, if it doesn't, then we'll just cut, cut our losses or take profits if we have them and then move on to the next one. But ADMP, we're swing trading this one because uh, of that gap field play that I'm talking about. ADMP. Then uh, RGLS has been on my watch list on the www.pse13.com watch list, guys. So uh, our entry was at 70. Again, let me show you. Same uh, typical uh, pattern uh, I did want a little more confirmation that's why the entry was actually at 69 which was at this um, patterns high so that's that's where I had my entry at 69 that's where we entered today and currently it's making its way up now again history of making big moves and these are uh, not a one day uh, you know pump and dump it's it's a big move it maintains the the momentum so that is a good thing so this can be a little bit of a hold if it continues to make making its way up higher maybe possibly to one on a two or three day hold i don't know how it's gonna play out but i like the setup right now i like that it, the momentum is reversing and it's picking up uh bullish momentum so rgls is another one that uh we are looking at and that is all i have for you today i know it's a longer video but if you like the content if you like what uh we're talking about here go ahead and uh, hit the like and subscribe button guys also go ahead and check out www.psc13.com check us out and uh you know you won't be disappointed that is it for me we'll catch you in the next one <music>